I started going to therapy. I started realizing through my family, through my church, that I needed to live the life that God intended, not that my perpetrator intended. And from there, uh, gaining more and more strength, I was able to actually call the police and report the crime that was committed. For me, it was being able to stand up in court and face him and um, stand up and just be the support to the, his niece that he had molested when she was 10 years old. And let them know there is hope, there is a future beyond sexual abuse. There's a way to regain what you feel you've lost. And you can have it back. You don't have to let it affect your life and your future. You can become stronger through it. I share this with our staff every year at orientation. I, it's something that um, the very act of letting people know that this has happened and that you've gone through it, but you've also learned to um, be well after it. And uh, you can turn everything in life, I think, can be turned into something powerful and strong and, and good. And uh, so I always, uh, what I um, never cease to be amazed is when I share this with a group of people, that this happened to me, is uh, how often people then kind of come up quietly afterward and say, it happened to me, it happened to me. And I've had people knock on my door the next day and say, I just needed to talk to you because it happened to me. And it's, uh, it's, it's a shame that we, we can't be uh, more open about the things that we've experienced uh, because together we can be, we can help each other heal.